In this video, we're going to cover converting to and from the component form for vectors. I have a vector shown in descriptive notation. It has a magnitude of 6 newtons, and it's pointing 30 degrees clockwise from the negative y-axis. I want to find this in component form. My vector has its tail at the origin, and so I know that there's a coordinate of the point at the tip of the vector. And if I were to find the values of those coordinates, those would be the components in my vector in component form. I can also think about it like my vector is composed of two other vectors that are running parallel to the y and the x-axis, and I add them together to get my final vector. So this first vector, this green one, has a magnitude of some value, and it's multiplied by j hat, which is the Cartesian basis vector pointing in the positive y direction. I add to that a second vector, this orange one, which is some scalar f sub x multiplied by i hat, the Cartesian basis vector pointing in the positive x direction. I know that those scalars correspond precisely to those values of the coordinate at the point of the tip. So that's another way of looking at what I'm trying to find. To find that, I'm going to draw a triangle around those vectors. Now my vector is in newtons, but I'm just going to use basic trigonometry. So on my graph, I have a triangle. It has a right triangle, that's a 90 degree angle, and I'm going to say the length of my hypotenuse is 6, corresponding to the magnitude of the force vector. I need to find now the lengths a and b for this right triangle. I know basic trigonometry, Cosine theta is adjacent over the hypotenuse, so the length of A for this triangle is 6 cosine theta, which is 3 times the square root of 3. I can do the same thing for the length of B for this triangle. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, and so B is 6 sine theta, which is just 3. Now the lengths of these triangles, those are just numbers. I need to translate to my components, which have direction, as well as units. What direction was that green vector pointing? It was pointing in the negative y direction. So to find the component, f sub y times j hat, it will be a negative 3 times the square root of 3 newtons, because my magnitude is newtons, times j hat. My orange vector, it has a magnitude 3, but it's pointing in the negative x direction, so it's going to be negative 3, also with units of newtons. I can now write the vector in component form, which is negative 3 i hat minus 3 times the square root of 3 j hat, and I just put the units on the end. Let's go the other direction. Now I have a velocity vector in component form, units of meters per second. What does that look like? Well, here I've drawn both of the vectors that are being added together to give me my velocity vector. There's a 4 i hat along the x-axis, and then a 6 j hat along the y-axis. They're magnitudes of 4 and 6, each of those vectors, and they point on the positive x and the positive y, respectively, because there's no minus signs. How vectors add, I know the resulting vector then, goes from the tail of the first one to the tip of the second. So this is the vector I'm trying to find now in descriptive form. To do that, I'm going to bring back my triangle and overlap the vectors shown in the figure. And now I can use basic trigonometry with this triangle. I have a right triangle, and I know the length of this side is 6, and the length of that side is 4. Using the Pythagorean theorem, then, the length of side C is a square root of 4 squared, which is 16, plus 6 squared, which is 36, which is a square root of 52, which is 7.21. That's telling me the magnitude of my velocity vector. The magnitude of my velocity vector, then, is 7.21 meters per second. I still need to know a direction for that, which is easy enough if I can find that angle theta. Again, using basic trigonometry, I know that the tangent of that angle theta is the opposite over the adjacent, which is 6 fourths. Plugging that into my calculator, that tells me the angle theta is 56.3 degrees. That's not the final answer, but I can use that to come up with the descriptive form of that vector, which is 7.21 meters per second magnitude, 
and then a 56.3 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. I want you to pay close attention to the stages that I did this in. In each case, even though I had vectors and units of newtons and sines, positive and negative, meters per second, I always came to a triangle when I was using my basic trig, and there none of that mattered. I was just looking for the lengths of that side and then converting it into the right signs and units for the vector I had. Finally, let's convert between the ordered set and component form. This is the easiest question you'll ever have in a physics course, so we certainly wouldn't want to pass that up. If I have a vector in component form, I know that those numbers are the components of my vector, and so 1 negative 7 turns into 1 times i hat minus 7 times j hat. Going the other way, here I have negative 2 i hat plus 11 j hat meters per second squared, and those components become the ordered set. I brought the units on the inside, negative 2 and 11. 